Hey, how are you doing? Scotty from scottsbasslessons.com. I'm actually in the middle of recording a course for scottsbasslessons.com, which will be coming out in December, but I'm here today to tell you about a course that we've just released into the Academy. We've just released the Phil Man Chord Tone Concepts Volume 2. Okay, so we released Volume 1 last month where it was just getting you into using chord tones all over the neck in all the different permutations. And in this course, well, he's covering a whole lot more. If you're an Academy member, guys, just log in and you'll find it in the course library along with Volume 1 of Chord Tone Concepts and with all of our other courses as well. If you're not already a member over at scottspacelessons.com, all you need to do is click the link below this video and you can grab your 14-day free trial so you can check out Phil's course in Volume 2, Volume 1, all of our other courses, come to our live weekly seminars with some of the best bass educators on the planet and a ton more, okay? So if you do want to grab a 14-day free trial to check all that out, the link is below. Anyway, so I've put a clip together so you can, you know, get a vibe for Phil's course and what it's all about. So that's it from me. Take it easy and I'll see you in the shed and check this out. First chord is an A minor seven. So I'd play the arpeggio from A minor seven. The second chord is D dominant. Now whatever the last note is from the A minor seven, I'm gonna look at the nearest note of D seven from there and then play the appropriate arpeggio that starts or finishes on that note. Then we get to the next chord, I will then link it to the chord tone of that chord. Now that's voice leading, that's something that pianists do excellently well, and it's something that um, uh, melodies a lot do, and solos do, where they can play through the changes. And you would have heard about that, you know, probably for some of Scott's lessons where you say, play through the changes, don't be dictated by the changes. So, let's put this into some sort of practice and actually work it. 